I'm back. Got my detector back from Texas. It's ready to go. I even washed some of the dirt off of it. And I just dug my first hole. And I got this. Oops. Anyway, I don't know if it's coming in focus, but <clears throat> it's a head stamp. One of my favorites. It's a federal 12 gauge. So I'm gonna start doing some digging. It's already getting cloudy this afternoon. It's supposed to start raining tonight, later on, but second hole. I'm not sure what it is yet, there it is. It's either a uh, head stamp or... I think it's, it is a head stamp. Nice. Let me clean it up and see if I can show it. Alright, it doesn't say anything on it but 12 gauge. I've dug these before, they're hard to hard to date because uh, it doesn't have a maker on it. Anyway. I like it though. So I'm going to try to find some more. I actually like head stamps, in case you don't know. This one was ringing up. And the 30s. Sorry, I keep shaking this camera around, but it was uh, real scratchy. And it feels like nothing more than a big hunk of coal. It's really light. Anyway, it made a sound a minute ago. Maybe it's not anymore. I'll put it uh, in another spot. All right, this dug pretty deep for this, but it turned out to be a uh, big square nut. It's a big hunk of iron. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna go next. I'll go over there. I'm about done. I know I've dug like four holes. I'm coming back, but there's a railroad spike. I'm getting absolutely flogged with gnats in my eyes. And my wife is not here to get them out. So I got to go get some bug spray. All right, I'm back. I went and got some bug spray. And I got a signal right here that jumped up in the high 70s and 80s. But uh, I'm beginning to wonder now because it got a little scratch here as I got it out of the ground so well there it is Piece of aluminum. Alright, gotta do better than that. Alright. Alright, another spot. Kind of next to where I found that little ring thing. I'm just kind of barely making my way through the yard. It's another one of these rocks. It's super light. Feels like a piece of coal. Rings up like 80s to 90s when it's real deep. And then when you get it out, you can't hear it at all. Pretty interesting. Not as interesting as this. There's a little baby rabbit running through these woods. And I don't know if it's watching me or what. But it hadn't ran away. It just keeps hopping around and picking out every now and then. But that's not what you're here for. All right, I'll dig a hole. All right, another hole. All right, same area. Better signal. 81, 82, six inches deep. Let's see what this is. It was not six inches deep, a couple inches deep. It's in here. There it is. It's a penny. Oops, my beeper's beeping. You see it? Let's see what it is. It is a modern penny. I'm kind of near the area where I found so many uh, before. Well, I guess whoever cuts the grass dumped them all out of his pocket way over there. It could have been a girl. Don't be offended. I said his. It could be anybody. Everybody knows how to cut grass. Got a good 50 signal right in here. Let's see what it is. I where it went.
Oh, it is a head stamp. All right, hold on, let me get situated. Get it cleaned off a little bit. It looks a lot smaller. So, can't see it yet. There it is. Still can't see it real well. It's uh, got to be a 410, as small as it is. All right, next. All right, this is a, another middle middle tone, another piece of a uh, railroad spike. Well, railroad tracks are right there, so kind of hear the people in the distance hammering the spikes into the track. All right, another hole, another middle tone signal. Square nut and a round hole. Take it out of here. Alright, got a good signal here. Alright, I'm taking a break from detecting for a minute. And I walked out to the back of these woods next to this house and I saw this. So, you know what that means? I gotta go look in it. See what's down here. Look at that, you can see the old wood, where the old uh, bridge used to be. Neat, isn't it? Oh, look. Railroad spikes. Little bucket. Oh, there's a railroad spike in the water. Look at that. You see it? There's another one right over there. There's another one. Wow. A bunch of them. There's some metal. Maybe a sign. Smells kind of like sewage down here. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go that way. I'm not going to climb under all that nasty stuff. But. Yeah, this is pretty much just, just a uh, runoff ditch. It might be a good place to magnet fish, huh? I just saw a big old frog. Yeah, I'm not going to get out in that. Might eventually, I don't know. The way that warms up a little more, I want to make sure there's plenty of mosquitoes to eat me up before I do that. Alright, I'm going to go back to uh, metal detection. It's tough though, because I love this junk. There's another one. Let's go, let's go down to here. All right, going back to metal detecting. Promise. Oh, there's another railroad spike. This could be like the golf ball journey, but you pick up railroad spikes. All right, now I'm really done. All right, I left the track like I promised. All right, I've dug a couple other holes since uh, since I've been recording, since I stopped recording. I got a couple pieces of copper. This hole, this hole rang up in the 70s. There's a pin. So the question is, what's the date? Oh, it's modern. It's so modern, it's still got a little shiny on it. Alright. That'll be something. Let's see where I am now. Alright, I got it. 40s, 50s signal here. It's out of the hole. I mean, anyway, I guess it's not out of the hole. I don't know if you can even see the hole. Oh, there it is. Looks like a 
Nickel. I can get it on the screen. It's modern. It's not that old, but it's always fun to find out, isn't it? So let me see if I can scrape it a little bit. Can y'all see a date on there? I cannot. Let's see how my Zoom malicious mode works. Not so good, huh? Okay, so we'll pretend like well, that didn't happen. I don't see a date. Alright, right, another 40s and 50s. Alright, last hole. That's it right there. You know what that is. No, that's not what you're thinking. That is a uh, end of a railroad spike. I'm done with this house for today. Thank y'all for watching. Say goodbye. Well, I'm back. I already said bye, but I changed my mind. I'm back. Thought I'd show you this. This one actually turned out to be a monarch, federal monarch. Uh, it's a 12 gauge. This other one is an unmarked 12 gauge. It says nothing but 12 gauge. And this one turned out to be a 20 gauge. Let me see if I can get where you can see that. Can you see that? Tell me. <clears throat> This, I don't know if it was a bullet after all because it's got two pieces at the top. So I think it's a piece of lead that went to like a power box or something. I can't see a date on the nickel. Um, the little brass ringy thing is a grommet off of something. And the pennies, I couldn't... There, one was an 80 and the other was something else. This little thing that says 732, I believe, is also from a power meter box. But I don't know what that side says. You remember when the power company used to put these little uh, lead things on there and if you messed with it they would know that you got in there and did something to your thing. So I guess it says 732. It could be a uh, like an old uh, Greek coin but an old Alabama coin. It's heavy. Listen to it. Alright. Thanks for watching.